Contender number one, Tyson Marlowe and Cold Jet. My name is Tyson Marlowe. I'm currently the director of global training and development at Cold Jet. Cold Jet is a dry ice blaster designed to cut through the toughest grime on Earth. It uses compressed air to blast one eighth inch pellets of dry ice at supersonic speeds. When the pellets hit the surface, they turn into gas, lifting any dirt in their path. The main reason to use Cold Jet is because the dry ice disappears on impact. So you're not going to damage things that you would with other cleaning processes. Velocity is the key. We could accelerate the particles to uh, anywhere from 600 to 1200 feet per second. Incredibly, this may be the one thing on Earth that can cut through the toughen light. We don't walk away from any challenges. I'm confident that nothing can beat Cold Jet. Correct. You've harnessed the power of dry ice. You're actually serving it up for a useful purpose, for cleaning. Why something super cold as opposed to heat, which we associate with really good cleaning? The cold actually helps to break the bond between the contaminant and the surface you're trying to clean. So you're taking it from room temperature quickly down to minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit. What's the fuel source? Dry ice, but where do you put it? Well, it, you open up this door and we have a, a block of ice that looks like a loaf of bread and it shaves it into a snow, and we're shooting the snow particles. So it's simple, right. cold causes things to shrink, therefore the thing is gonna come off the adhesion quicker. Correct. Differential thermal expansion and contraction. You should yeah. take that and put it on your bumper sticker and on your business card. <laughs> Speaking of business cards, we can take the ink off of a business card without punching through the paper. That's how gentle we can be. It's that gentle? Well, Chris, I brought one of your business cards to use, so we can ruin that instead of one of mine. <laughs> you are about to remove the ink from a business card without damaging the paper. Absolutely. All right, let's see this. So how much PSI is he using at this moment? This is about 20 PSI and very small phase particles. Wow, you did do that. I'm non-existent. Check that out. <laughs> that's incredible. So that's the cold jet on low power. What happens when you crank it up? Let's find out on The Proving Ground. This asphalt paver is caked in tar. Normally, you'd remove it with kerosene and pry bars. So is this sticky mess too much for the dry ice cannon? We did that without a secondary waste stream and no damage to the surface. It's clean. Not bad. Now let's see if it can take the char off this badly burned two by six. All this charred wood, we're going to remove the alligator skin and make it look almost brand new again. So come on in there, let's show them. All right, now for a bigger challenge. Watch what happens when we turn it up to full blast. If the cold jet can rip this board in half, it just might have the raw power needed to cut through the toughen light. The cold jet dry ice cannon doesn't just clean. Crank it up to 250 PSI and a stream of ice cuts through this two by six like a laser. I love my job. Cold Jet cannot be beaten in this showdown. We're going to win. 